What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're playing some Elder Scrolls Online and I wanted to show you guys the method that I have found that is the best way in order to do your daily pledges with the Undaunted. Now, if you're a hardcore player, naturally this is not going to be really the method that you would want to do. This is more for the average player that's going to be a little bit casual and wants to be able to do these quests and get done with it and be be completely finished and don't have to worry about it can go on with their normal lives their gaming time is probably going to be limited uh compared to like a more hardcore player so this is going to be to help them uh so whenever you pick up the undaunted quest you will be able to pick them up right here in uh what is it elden root i believe it's called and you'll be able to talk to these three guys here and pick up the quest this is one of them as you can see i got the quest symbol above them and you'll be able to do three different pledges for the day which is going to be dungeons well the thing is is everybody has the same dungeons every day unless you carried over dungeons from the previous day so if you went and picked up these uh quests from this one and the other two then uh you're going to have the quests that they give you well if you don't actually get it done and you go into the next day well, you're still going to have the previous day's quest and everybody else is going to be picking up the newest quest. So what are you supposed to do? Uh, are you supposed to go ahead and just try to queue up with uh, the previous dungeons? I would say no. The only reason why I would uh, do that is if you have a group that you know that you can run with. Uh, some friends, some guildmates, something like that, that you can actually rely on to help you get through these quests because they're probably not going to have the same pledges as you. Everybody gets the same pledges every day, but if you're carrying over old ones, the best thing to do, unless you can get a group easily, is to go ahead and cancel those quests. Cancel them, pick up the new ones for the day, and if you're wondering what dungeons it is for uh, the, pre uh, the current day, I'll provide a link in the description below. Go check out down there, and you'll see a website that actually updates you on which pledges are current with the, the current day. So that'll help you out a lot. There's also add-ons that you can do in order to keep track of your pledges. So there's lots of good uh, resources out there. You just got to know where to find them. All right, so like I said, if you cannot get an easy group, as in some friends, some guildmates or something to help you finish the previous day's quests, if you're carrying them over, then it's best to just cancel them and get the, get the current quest. Um, if you're a hardcore player and you're able to get good groups, then go ahead and do it. If you got a great guild that always helps you out, go ahead and just pick them up and they'll probably run you through the dungeons that you need to do anyway. So this is only for the real casual player. This is uh, not for the people that have lots of people to rely on or else a lot of time to do it because whenever you queue up for a dungeon, naturally that queue is going to be a, a pretty long one if you're not going to have uh, people that are doing the same quest as you. All right, so another method that I have found to be uh, really efficient is the first dungeon that you queue up for the day, uh, do a random one. Do a random uh, dungeon, and that way, most likely, now this isn't 100%, most likely the dungeon that you're going to get is one of the three pledges for the day. Because like I said, everybody that's doing the current, uh, current uh, daily quest, they're going to be doing the specific three uh, the three dungeons that everybody else has so it's a very high percentage chance that that's going to be one of the dungeons uh, that you're going to get for your random so that's a really good method for the the second and third dungeon that you need to do uh, you probably need to queue up specifically for them because there's a real good chance that you'll actually get the the dungeon that you already did uh also there is a chance that people are doing off dungeons you know people might have finished their quest and they may be getting just random dungeons all together done and you want to be able to get your pledges done so recommend you do random for the first one uh or even random afterwards if you don't get the specific dungeons that you're needing uh because as soon as you get the the one of the pledges as your random then you can go ahead and move on to specific cues all right so that's the best methods that i found to do it at first i was always struggling in order to do my pledges 
because I would actually get pledges that were carried over from the previous day. I didn't even realize that everybody had the same pledges, so I didn't know that uh, canceling them and picking up the current ones was probably my best bet in order to get them done, especially as uh, a player that was playing uh, pretty casual. Um, like I said, if you got plenty of time, go ahead and queue up for uh, the previous day's ones if you actually missed out on doing them on the previous day. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.